Okay, problem. A cantilever beam of rectangular section supports UDL of 5 kN per meter. The span of beam is 3 meter. If the maximum bending stress is 100 Newton per mm square and depth of beam is 1.5 times the width, determine the size of beam. So first of all, write down the given data. So first of all, UDL load it is given on cantilever beam that is 5 kN per meter. 5 kN per meter. Then span of beam it is given, span of cantilever beam that is 3 meter. 3 meter. The maximum bending stress it is also given that is sigma b means bend, bending stress. Sigma b max is equal to it will be 100 newton per m. 100 newton per mm square. Okay. 100 newton per mm square. Then next one it is given data that is the depth of beam is 1.5 times the width. That is means the depth of beam it is 1.5 times the width. 1.5 times the width. This data it is given. So beam it is actually cantilever beam. We'll just show this one it is. So beam this one it is cantilever beam. So this span of beam it is. So one end it is fixed, other end it is free. That is means cantilever beam. So UDL load it is acted on that beam for all this span. Entire span, the UDL load it is acted. So that's UDL load it is 5 kN per meter. Yes, sure. UDL load it is 5 kN per meter. 5 kN per meter. The span of beam it is 3 meter. So this cantilever span beam it is 3 meter. Okay. This one it is 3 meter. Okay. The section of this beam just show this one it is rectangular section. This one it is rectangular section. Its width it is B. Width it is B. In terms of width depth it is given. In terms of width depth it is given. So depth of this beam it is D is equal to D is equal to this 1.5 B. 1.5 B. So this data it is given. Okay. So first of all, calculate maximum bending moment. So we'll write here maximum bending moment for cantilever beam. For cantilever beam. Cantilever beam. For cantilever beam with UDL load. With UDL loading. With UDL load. With UDL loading. With UDL loading. Okay. So M max is equal to here. Right. M max is equal to here. So when cantilever beam enter span it is UDL load. So for that formula it is W into L square. W into L square. W into L square divided by 2. W into L square divided by 2 is equal to so W it is 5 5 into 3 square 5 into 3 square 5 into 3 square divided by 2 divided by 2 divided by 2 so right now Mx is equal to maximum petty moment is equal to 5 into 3 square divided by 2. So it will be 22.5. 22.5 kilonewton meter. Kilonewton meter. Okay. So convert it is in Newton in. So Mx is equal to this 22.5 into 10 to the power 6 Newton in. Newton m. Okay. Then next calculate moment of inertia. I is equal to. I is equal to. It will be BD cube by 12. For rectangular section, moment of inertia is BD cube. BD cube. BD cube. Divided by 12. Divided by 12. Divided by 12. So D it is. D it will be. 1 times of. 1.5 times of B. Just put here D is equal to 1.5 B in bracket 1.5 B. 
So the moment of initiate will be get in terms of B. So write down this one it is B is equal to I is equal to I is equal to so 1.5 raised to 3 divided by 12. It will be 0 0.281.2812 B raised to so this one it is B cube and this one it is B it will be B raised to 4. B raised to 4. B raised to 4. Okay. Then calculate y. Y is equal to this d by 2. Y is equal to this. D by 2. D divided by 2. D divided by 2. D divided by 2. So actually, D will be in terms of B, it will be 1.5 B divided by 2. 1.5 divided by 2. 2. Is equal to y it will be 1.5 divided by 2 it will be 0.75 b 0.75 b okay. so now write down bending stress equation so i'll write here bending stress equation bending stress equation bending stress equation it is m by i is equal to m by i M by I is equal to 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 Sigma B max Sigma B max Sigma B max divided by Sigma B max divided by Y Y to call this value so m it is m it is 22.5 into 10 to the power 6 into 10 to the power 6 divided by divided by i it is i it is 0 0.2812 0.2812 B cube, sorry, B raised to 4. So this one is B raised to 4. B raised to 4 is equal to, is equal to sigma B max, it will be 100, 100 divided by, divided by, why it is D by 2, that is means 0.75B, 0.75B. Okay. So, to make, so this B and this B raised to 4, if you get cancelled, you will get B cube. Okay. So, write down B cube is equal to B cube is equal to B cube is equal to B cube is equal to. So, just 22.5 into 10 raised to power 6 into 0.75 divided by 100 into 0 0.2812 so to forget 600.106 600.106 into 10 to the power 3 10 to the power 3 so b it will be get b is equal to write down so 600 in 600.106 into 10 to the power 3 raised to 1 by 3 raised to 1 by 3 we get 84.34 84.34 mm round the figure it will take 85 mm 85 mm okay so this one it is d so now calculate d d is equal to till b d is equal to till b 1.5 1.5 that is mean 1.5 into d it is 85 we can get how much 1.5 85 into 1.5 so it will be 127.5 127.5 mm 
Okay. So question was calculate the dimensions of beam. So write down dimensions of beam. So B is equal to it will be B is equal to 85 mm and and D is equal to it is 127.5 mm. 127.5. This is your final answer. This is your final answer. The question was determine the size of beam. The size of beam it is width it is 85 mm and depth it is 127.5 mm. Okay.